On a mile-high California mountain peak, one day in 1888, astronomy came of age in America. The most powerful telescope the world had ever known was turned toward the heavens in the Lick Observatory, a gift of James Lick, a California pioneer who lies in a crypt at the telescope's base. Here on Mount Hamilton, some 70 miles south of San Francisco, Lick Observatory astronomers entered a new era of heavenly exploration, probing deeper than ever before into the secrets of space. Their tool was this towering telescope with its 36-inch lens, truly a giant in its day. Looking through the eyepiece, astronomers have studied mysteries of the universe that stirred the awe and imagination of men for centuries. Made with all the precision of a fine watch, the telescope weighs more than a modern-day car. With a complex control board that shows both standard and sidereal, or star, time, the instrument is still in use after almost 70 years. But it is too small by today's standards, and a new and bigger telescope, towering over the workman at lower right, is under construction at the Lick Observatory. The cage is 50 feet long, weighs 150 tons, and will hold a 120-inch mirror lens. Here a model is used to demonstrate how stars and sun can be reflected into brilliant focus by the mirror lens. After six years, the giant telescope is nearing completion at last. 400 miles to the south, in the clear air high above Pasadena, other astronomers are carrying on their work at the Mount Wilson Observatory. Two solar telescopes, 60 feet and 150 feet high, are used to study the sun. Inside the 60-foot tower, opened in 1907, James Hickok, a veteran at Mount Wilson, photographs the sun as he has done for 32 years. The big telescopes of today are rarely looked through, but are used for the taking of photographs. Here, the sun's image is reduced to five-eighths of an inch as Mr. Hickok shoots a series of special pictures. Astronomers have learned that what the eye sees, the brain can forget, but what a plate photographs, it records permanently. Also at Mount Wilson is this 60-inch telescope, the world's largest from 1909 until the 100-inch Hooker telescope, dwarfing the man circling its dome, was completed in 1917. At the California Institute of Technology campus in Pasadena, there is an exact model of the Hooker's successor, the 200-inch Hale Telescope, the mightiest ever built. Weighing as much as a freight engine, the Hale is still man's most delicate optical instrument, so sensitive that cameramen are not even permitted close enough to photograph it. Like this precise miniature, the Hale's synchronizing mechanism allows it to move smoothly and effortlessly while tracking a star on its swing across the sky. A man would have to be 60 feet tall to stand like this beside the full-sized Hale telescope. The cover which protects the mirror lens when not in use opens like the petals of a flower. Grinding and polishing the Hale's 14 and a half ton mirror was an intricate and painstaking task that took more than 11 years. In 1947, 13 years after the great mirror had been poured, it was trucked up Mount Palomar, where its giant dome glistens amid the dark hills. Far from the interference of city lights, final adjustments were made, and finally, in 1949, the world's most powerful telescope began operation. Visitors are always welcome, and schoolchildren come often to marvel at this wonder of science which can photograph stars almost a billion light years away, and light travels six trillion miles in a year. Glass enclosed for protection, the telescope is virtually sealed off from the outside world. Riding in a cage high above the floor, an astronomer focuses the mirror on the untold quadrillions of stars in God's universe. More stars than there are grains of sand on all the beaches of our world.
studying Saturn and its rings, the most spectacular of all planets, or seeking new discoveries about the moon and its phases, men of astronomy are slowly unlocking the star-strewn vault of the night, pushing mankind's knowledge of the universe out to more and more distant frontiers in